All right, we have the Mayhem MR2. This is a marine grade radio, the only one in the industry with a seven inch screen. The specs, it's a waterproof digital media player. It's completely water sealed. Uh, no CD or DVD, plays MP3s, all digital stuff on smartphones, USB and auxiliary input, Bluetooth audio streaming, which I've tested it and I've walked clear eighth mile away and uh, still had reception through Bluetooth front rear and sub preamp outputs it's a four zone controller built into the screen which i'll show you has a built-in amp which i don't use i always use an outside amp but it can play speakers on its own uh, lcd touch screen eq presets uh, it's a marine rated watertight face you can spray this you can get it muddy hit it with the hose whatever um, it's got apple carplay and phone mirroring which i'll show you uh, it includes the waterproof digital media receiver, cable wiring harness, USB extension, screws, owner's manual. Let's open it up to see what we got in here. Here's the manual. And this is your unit. Let's get it out of here one-handed. Hang on. All right, so it's just this simple. Seven inch touch screen. Uh, I love that it has a manual volume knob. I hate riding down the trail and hitting a volume up or down button while you're bouncing around. Big buttons that are the main buttons that you need. Everything else is done with touch screen. Um, very simple, use a hole saw, make a hole. It's got screw ins behind these panels. There's, let's see, I can probably show you here. There's holes that go through right there. So you'll do your screw ins. There they are. So you don't have to tighten it down from behind like a lot of these units. You just slide it in, pop those panels, screw it down. Um, the connections, like I said, everything in here is watertight. You got your main harness, and then you have the plug to it right there, and there's your USB extension. That's gonna be for your power, ground, remote, uh, your speaker wires if you're using internal power. Uh, it does have front and rear cameras. USB extension, AM, FM antenna, your different zones. So there's your zone two, subwoofer. Let's see, there's rear camera, front camera. They're both right there. Subwoofer, zone three, auxiliary input. If you do want to hook up something with a set of RCA, zone one, your video out so you can run it to another screen. Your wired remote if you wanted to run a wired remote and your camera control I guess that's what turns on your backup camera maybe but that is it now we'll go inside the bike and I'll show you one that's already set up all right so this is the unit installed in a Polaris Ranger very low profile um, we'll turn it on so you can see startup screen and how fast this thing boots up I've seen a lot of units that take a long time to get going. But we're already in business. You have FM, AM, USB, which is right here. Uh, Bluetooth music, phone link, phone link, literally phone link, and then the phone. Auxiliary input, front and rear cameras. So you can run dual cameras and you can watch the cameras without interfering with music as well. So what we're gonna do is hook up my phone through USB and I'll show you how we can do phone mirroring. And it'll come up as CarPlay. So when it's on CarPlay, so now we have the CarPlay up there. I can go to my music app, go to what's playing. I don't want to run into copyright issues, but you get the idea. So you have your navigation, all the stuff you would normally have on a car-based head unit. All right, so now we're connected to screen mirroring on AirPlay. Now we have full video on the seven inch screen. Set 
seven inch screen, fully marine grade. You just can't beat that, man. All right, I wanna get copyrighted, but you get the idea.